Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here and for being subscribed. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation. Listen, I I thought about not talking about the story, but listen, I want to talk about it from the perspective of just a few things that I know from personal experience. And so if there's anyone listening to this content, I definitely am not coming from a place of prejudice. I'm coming from a place of facts and just my own personal experiences as to why I decided to talk about this situation. But Um, The story has broken that rapper Young Jeezy, he has filed for divorce from Jeannie Mai. And, you know, I never really talked about this much. I think the only time I really talked about this was a story that I'm going to talk about in a sec that broke years ago when Jeannie Mai was talking about her marriage and some things that she wanted to do. I talked about that, but I've seen little clips here and there of them when they were newly announcing their relationship and the images together and all that good stuff. But for those of you who are not remembering, Jeannie Mai, she was previously married and she was married to a Caucasian dude. And he divorced her. He cheated on her. But to be honest with you, that's wrong. But sometimes I'm curious as to if she was also unfaithful to him. Because she made statements on the show she used to be on called The Real. Where she said she preferred white men over black men. But she was not opposed to being with a black man. You dated black guys. Loved black guys. Yeah. See? yeah, I did. I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I oh, married a white man. That's what I like. Hold oh, up. No. What do you mean, dark I, meat on the side? Because he likes wearing a pizza. I am no, not. No, I'm not. I'm saying, like, I like, I really do think black men are attractive. I do. Like, that's my. Well, what do you mean, dark meat on the side? That's me, honey. <laughs> that's, I. You know what that means. Wait, what are you reading it at? I don't know. What, how did you say it? <laughs> I'm just saying it like, I, when, like, when I think about men, I like <laughs> dark men. I do. I right, like, you like your main man to be white and the, your side no, to be no, 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 no. All right, so you heard that. You remember that. If you don't, then you got it now. So having the dark meat on the side soon became the main dish, I assume, when it came to Jeezy. But of course, that was after her white, lean and mean man left her in the cold for another woman. And so when she was dating Jeezy, when I was seeing the images of them and she was looking so happy and whatever and just showcasing him, and I was like, okay, girl. But I never really dug deep into it or honestly cared that much. And I still don't really care about the situation. I saw a clip of her and the little baby. The baby looks cute. And you know what I mean? Now she's going to be a single mom. (laughs) That's nothing new for a lot of women um, that Jeezy has been with. So she's just now in, in the number. But anyway, the story is that Jeezy reportedly filed for divorce from Jeannie Mai after just two years <laughs> of marriage. They wed in an intimate ceremony at their Atlanta area home in March 2021. The divorce filing must have come as a surprise to Jeannie, who was still using Jeezy's last name on her Instagram page. And this is a story I'm reading. It's actually coming from the blog Sandra Rose, but that's nothing new because if he just filed for divorce, like why would she have gotten rid of her last name? Especially, I don't even think it's that easy to change your name on Instagram. So whatever, you know, when it comes to that. 
But it says there are also photos of Jeezy on her IG, which suggests he may not have told his wife that he's leaving her. Listen, this is the blog that I'm reading, so I, I don't know. And not everybody goes in and scrubs images of the other person when something like that happens. One, that takes time. And two, it's like, well, not everyone wants to get rid of their history. So it is what it is. It's not like we wouldn't know that she was with him. Anyway, the marriage was the first for Jeezy, 45, and the second for Jeannie, 44. Jeannie divorced, <clears throat> excuse me, from the husband in 2018 because he didn't want children but he wound up getting the chick that he was messing with pregnant. But anyway, now that he has filed for a divorce, you know, it's it's pretty ironic because Jeannie made some comments about what she wants to do going into this marriage with Jeezy. So I'm going to say right here that I, Jeannie Mai, going into my marriage... I want to submit to my man. Let me explain. When I hear this definition, like you just said, Adrian, submitting has a negative connotation. It means that you are less important. You are lower than that person that you're submitting to. It usually can be like... I'm pausing it right there because it's kind of funny. I'm going to put a link to this in the description if you want to see the facial expressions when she said that. Because ironically, Adrian Bailon... I believe she took her husband's last name, which she married um, Israel Holton. So I believe it's Adrian Bailon Holton. I could be incorrect, but he's the gospel singer. (laughs) And you would think a woman who's married to a man in the gospel world would say, oh, she wants to submit. But her face was all jacked up like, really, girl? (laughs) reference as somebody who works lower than you and that's not what I'm referring to here but what I really learned in my life for my definition of marriage I'm not saying what I want works for everybody I'm saying for me I'm a very dominant woman I own my business I lead my teams I played my own manager my own publicist my own lawyer when I didn't have money to have those people so I make the decisions in my life when I come home I am a I I like the idea that my man leads us. That doesn't mean that in this case, Jay makes all the decisions for us. That doesn't mean that when he says, how are we spending our money or where are we moving? That I just say, yes, sir, or yes, your your honor. Like, it's not that it's a, you know what? I think that we would do best here. I want to do this. And he takes the decision. He formulates it with our overall vision and he leads us. And I like to submit to that. I don't want to lead in our household and in our marriage. I want him to lead and I have all the essence of what I bring as a wife to make that decision but that I love that my husband will be the man that leads. I like that structure in a marriage and I look forward to that because girls, it's tiring being the boss of me. It's tiring leading all the time. It is. All the time. And I I tired to be the boss of all the time. I grew up in a household. My mom, my mom has a very she has a very strong force and she took over a lot of decisions in the household to the point that my dad unless it was always going to be a fight he was like you know what go ahead whatever you want to decide go ahead and i'm just going to do me and that causes a wedge and i can have that tendency i'm just saying for me i can have that tendency to follow like my mom because it's what i grew up in and i saw it and i saw in my in my living space I would all of a sudden just wake up and go and make decisions without asking and checking in. So I am the fault that can cause the inequality because I am pulling in my habits from my old household to how I run my business today. And that is not okay. And I'm careful and aware of that today. So I'm just telling that to anybody else who didn't tell me that when I could have learned that before. So listen, I'm being beautifully honest. I'm going to share my opinion as to why I believe He couldn't even last any longer than the two years that they were married. And I don't know what it's like to be married to him. And so I'm not saying that he was a perfect husband either. But to be honest with you, based on my own personal experiences, and this may be the unpopular opinion, but it just is mine. I don't believe she, I don't believe she kept her word. And and here's what I mean by that. She, you heard it out of her own mouth. She said that she was used to seeing her mom 
pretty much being the dominant force in the household, even though the dad was there. And I have a sibling. I only have one sibling and I do not have a relationship with him anymore. And I expect that I never will again. And to be honest with you, I'm okay with that because sometimes in life, and especially because we're used to seeing these relationships in movies and on television and things like that, we just you know, and we hear these sayings, family over everything and fight for your family and whatnot. Sometimes in life, you grow apart. And I'm not saying that it should be that way with someone that you chose to be family with, like your husband, you get married to your husband or you get married to your wife and you have your children. Those are relationships I feel like you should do your best to keep intact as much as possible. But even sometimes those situations don't work out and that's okay because we're all individual human beings. But when it comes to siblings, cousins, all that other stuff, listen, if it if we have a relationship, okay, but if we don't, I'm okay with that too. I'm not fighting to have a relationship with someone that treats me like trash just because we're blood. And my brother treated me like trash. He's done a lot of terrible things to me and I will you know, just leave it at that. But he's married to an Asian woman. She's actually Korean. And this woman, even though I believe in public, has tried to portray this persona of being the supporting, doting wife. But behind the scenes, she controls everything. And he's not the same person that I knew him to be when he was younger. And look, I get it. People grow up and sometimes attitude shift and you get a different perspective on life or you may have different experiences in life that may just kind of shift who you are. But I do believe that a number of the things that he has done has been due to her dominance in their household and control in a number of ways. And because he was just so mesmerized by a woman of another ethnicity that would want his ugly ass. And when I say ugly, I'm definitely talking about spirit because he has a very ugly spirit. I don't even see him as attractive, but of course that's my sibling. So why would I say my brother's cute? (laughs) Okay. But anyway, just get, you know, getting her from another country, bringing her over here, making her, you know, a citizen and giving her this amazing life that she did not have access to before. And then to see how he's treated his family and how he's shifted, I do believe, I'm not saying that he doesn't have any fault or it's not because of his own decisions as well and putting all the onus and blame on her, but I do believe that it has been a lot of it due to her influence and not being a woman that doesn't want to be dominant and doesn't want to have control and all that other stuff. And I'm not even saying that I am here for the word submission because it definitely has a negative connotation. But Jeannie Mai was the one that came out and was given that speech (laughs) that she gave on the reel. Like in my personal opinion, I feel like that was a dog whistle for Jeezy to say, look, baby, I'm letting the world know that you are the king of this castle and you don't have to worry about me trying to take over, take the reins, lead you, guide you, show you the way, you know, make it do what it do. But I also do believe that him connecting with Jeannie Mai also helped to elevate his career. I'm not saying that he was not a successful rapper, but I do believe that that helped him to cross over in a number of ways and not so much cross over in the music, but just crossover career-wise, period, because he just had a book that he wrote on the New York Times bestseller list. Like, do you not believe that him not having that connection to Jeannie Mai helped that? It absolutely did. But I can remember a situation years ago where a family member of mine was going through a very, very hard time. She had lost her husband of many years and something transpired that I should not have even known anything about. But the reason I knew about it was because of my brother's wife, the woman that in public tried to act submissive and quiet and reserved. And my husband handles everything, but behind the scenes, she was handling everything because apparently that family member had reached out to my brother to ask for some financial help. 
don't you know this heifer called me up and was telling me about it and was saying, we can't give her any money. My husband works hard. I am the one that pushed him into getting his ranks in the military and doing this and doing that. And I was just sitting there on the other end like, is this heifer really saying this to me right now? And I was so pissed. And I don't remember everything that I said to her, but I do remember letting her know. I said, look, why are you even calling me and telling me about this? Because one, she didn't call me and ask me for help. She called my brother and asked him for help. If you don't want to help her out, why don't you just let her know that you don't want to help her out? But you calling me and telling me about this is extremely disrespectful. I don't like it. And I'm about to say some stuff to you right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get off of this phone with you because I do not like it. I don't know what she thought, but again, different culture, different type of way of doing things in their familial structure, I'm sure. But her calling me about that, it really pissed me off. I don't know what she thought she was going to get out of me from that, but it angered me. But at that point in time, and that was many years ago. I want to say that was maybe back in like 2007. But at that point in time, that really showed me because I don't, ha- I didn't have a close relationship with him then. And I definitely don't have a relationship with him at not right now, period. But that showed me back then who was really running the show. And I'm not saying that a man should run the show. But I'm saying that it should be when you are a couple, it should be the both of you working together, not one person telling the other person how it's going to be, what it's going to, you know, what we're going to do. Yeah, you can ask for suggestions or you can ask for input or if you're not really sure or someone in this familial structure, this couple, this marriage knows a little bit more about one thing than the other, then fine. Like, like, of course, when it comes to the vehicles with my husband, I'd rather him handle that stuff because I don't want to go to the service center and then allow someone to say some things to me that they're just trying to get over because they want me to spend more money because I'm a female. Usually they're not going to really do that stuff with a man. Even if the man doesn't know much about fixing vehicles, they will tend to try to get over on a woman or, you know, more than a man. So I get it. But this stuff about being submissive I believe that she did not keep her word and behind the scenes that inner Asian and listen like I said I'm not trying to be prejudiced or racist I'm just basing this off of the experience that I have had and I do believe based on a number of the experiences that I've had and things that I've seen in my own personal life that a lot of Asian women they are definitely more dominant that and it just comes out and a lot of men especially black men can't really take it now some will stick in there some will stick around but a number of them they cannot take it and it sounds like Jeezy was just like you know what I'm out of here I I can't deal with this so yeah it sounds like she did not keep her deal with being submissive in the marriage so um I I don't know and um I'm going to share this little quick story. I had a neighbor, who actually a white guy. He was married to an Asian woman. I don't know, you know, which type. Like I said, my sibling is married to a Korean woman. There's so many different types. There's, you know, Vietnamese, Thai, um, you know, Korean, Japanese, Chinese. But you know what I mean? There's so many different types. There's, you know, Laotian. There, there's a lot of different types. So I'm not... I'm not naive to that or ignorant when it comes to that. And I'm not saying all of them are the same because I know each and every one is not. But anyway, this this guy, he was living next door to you for years and I never really knew him. I mean, we probably introduced ourselves, but, you know, I don't have relationships with my neighbors. I come in and I leave. I do, you know live here, but I'm not trying to make friends with all the people that live around me. But at the time I had my office on one side of the house and it was on the side that was by his house. And there were times he used to really blast his music really loud during the day. And I was trying to, at the time, record for my other podcast that I have. 
And I was like, I can't deal with this. I'm just going to go over there and kindly say something. So it was one day I went over there and I, you know, asked him if he could turn his music down during a certain time because I'm doing recording and my office is right there. And he said, okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, one day he came over and he rang the doorbell and I answered the door and he said, hey, um, I just wanted to, you know, let you know that I'm going through cancer right now. And he did look sick. He didn't, you know, I didn't really pay attention to him in that detail when I went over to the house to, you know, ask him to turn his music down before. But when he came over and I stepped out on the front porch a little bit just to speak to him, he was explaining that he was going through cancer and going through treatments. He said also he was at the time in the military as well, active duty, I believe active duty, or maybe he was, I believe he was active duty. But anyway, um, he let me know that he was going through a divorce. His wife left him and he doesn't really have any family here. So the music helps him to get through what he is battling in between his treatments. And I felt bad. And I was like, oh my God. And I didn't ask any details because of course I didn't know him like that. And I wasn't trying to get into his personal business. I only knew that because he told me, he said his wife left him. He's going through cancer right now. And the music helps him to go through the treatment in between the treatments. So if there, you know, were certain times that I wanted to record, if I could let him know so that he could be aware of that, but he likes to play his rock music or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. That's fine. And and I appreciate you letting me know that. But I remember telling my husband about that. And I was like, what in the world? And of course, you don't know what goes on in anyone's household. I believe she worked at Google. But yeah, she left the dude and I, it's, I was like, dang, she left him while he was sick. I don't, again, know all of the details of what was going on, but some of these women that come here and they are married to these men. And I know Jeannie Mai didn't just come here. I, I get that. <laughs> Not all of them that are here came here. Some of them were born here. I get that. But I'm just saying, a lot of times they get in these relationships and it may not work out because that inner dominance comes out and some people can't take it. And so with Jeannie, in my personal opinion, I believe that she wasn't that submissive wife that she promised Jeezy that she was going to be. And he was just like, you know what? I don't know much how much more of this I can take. So I'm out. I'm out. So I'll just deal with what I got to deal with. We have the prenuptial agreements in place. I assume I have to pay some child support because she'll probably want to have full custody. But I think he's going to try to get joint custody if I'm not correct. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Because again, when I saw that he filed for divorce, the first thing I thought about was when she said she wanted to be submissive. So I guess that just did not work out. Didn't shake out like she was saying that she wanted to. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.